On the eve of the college entrance examination, Lindsay Aaron made an appointment to the handmade shop for the southward evening on the eve of the college entrance examination. The two sat in the shop expectantly but did not expect that the process of customizing the ring was complicated and long, and it did not end until dark. Fortunately, Nan Zyangwen didn't care about it. Lindsay Aaron took the opportunity to engrave the first letter of Nan's surname on the ring, which represented his true feelings in his heart. Seeing Lindsay Aaron's behavior, Nan Zyangwen showed the little girl's shyness, which was completely inconsistent with the aura of her career elite. In the end, under Lindsay Aaron's suggestion, she happily engraved the first letter of Lin's surname and put the ring on her middle finger. It was not so much a blessing ring for the college entrance examination, but a couple of rings. The two said goodbye at the bifurcation and should have gone home separately. However, Nan Zyangwen seemed to think of something just after walking a few steps. He couldn't help but look back at Lin Aaron's back and had to swallow what he said. As everyone knows, when she turned and left, Lin Aaron was also looking back. He missed the best opportunity to confess, and he could hardly muster the courage. In the process of looking back and turning around repeatedly, Nan Zyangwen took the lead to call Lin Aaron and rushed to the aisle without hesitation and ran to his side. Although there are no lingering words of love, Nan Zyangwen and Lin Aaron have already intertwined, walking hand in hand on the street, patronizing the convenience store and cherishing their peace and good times now. On the day of the college entrance examination, Lin Aaron saw medical staff rushing past the door, vaguely aware of anxiety, so he handed in the papers as quickly as possible and saw Nan Xiangwen lying on the ambulance stretcher. At this moment Nan Xiangwen was gradually awakening, she hugged Lin Aaron and wept with joy, and Wang Kaibai stood by silently watching the whole process. Ten days after the college entrance examination, Nan Xiangwen completely lost contact with Lin Ziren. He called Li Shuai, Chen Xian, and others, and learned that he had settled in the United States with Lin's mother, and I am afraid he would go to university there. Hearing this news, Nan Xiangwen was unable to restrain his impulse, and then picked up the phone and clicked on Lin Ziren's address book. He wanted to send a message, but after typing a few words, he deleted a line, just like the complex contradictions on the eve of the college entrance examination. Repeatedly, once again mustered the courage to press the send button. As soon as the news was sent, I saw the waiter coming with coffee. Nan Xiangwen looked in the direction the waiter was pointing and found that Lin Ziren was standing not far away, with a smile on his face. I thought that like most couples, the two would always choose to be silent in the face of reality but I didn't expect Lin Ziren to dare to fight, reject the future arranged by his parents in advance, and give up everything and fly back to China. Although Lin Ziren was admitted to Guanhang University with his own efforts to ensure a stable life in the future, Nan Xiangwen still wanted to punish him with a small punishment and deliberately turned to leave with a straight face. Lin Ziren hurriedly followed behind, patiently explaining her behavior without leaving, and took the opportunity to confess to her. From the attention of the first encounter to the subsequent contacts, this relationship has deepened unconsciously. No matter how mature a man is, he will always be childish in front of the person he likes. At first, Lin Ziren didn't care about it, but every time he saw the southward night, it seemed that the whole world was frequently illuminated until he found out his true inner thoughts. Although every time it is a trivial matter, it has gradually penetrated into Lin Ziren's life. Fortunately, Nan Xiangwen has the same experience. The so-called fortunate is the moment when I love you, and so does you. Establish the relationship, Nan Xiangwen, as usual, brushed the subject during the date, and completely left Lin Ziren next to him, causing his dissatisfaction. It just so happened that at this time, a female classmate came over with a love letter. Her appearance not only did not destroy the relationship between Nan Xiangwen and Lin Ziren but instead increased their ability to act. Nan Xiangwen kissed Lin Ziren on the cheek in front of the female classmate and swore his sovereignty. Lin Ziren kissed back without hesitation, and the two of them came and went, stupefied with the female classmate. Over time, Lin Ziren became a pilot when he graduated from Nan Xiangwen as an executive in a blink of an eye. The two have been dating for seven years, 
and they are still standing still. Even though they are as sweet as ever, they have not yet reached the stage of talking about marriage. Seeing that Yumili and Zhang Zhao are about to have a second child, even Liu Yubai also proposed to Chen Shen, so Lin Ziren hopes to take the relationship further. He prepares the diamond ring in advance, but Nan Xiangwen has acted. On that night, Lin Ziren knelt on one knee. He thanked Nan Xiangwen for appearing in his life and accompanying him throughout his youth, so he was willing to spend the rest of his life responding and handing in answers that would satisfy Nan Xiangwen. Under the light, Nan Xiangwen and Lin Ziren exchanged rings, and they wore them on the ring finger that was heading for marriage, looking forward to the future, only wishing to have each other in this life.